Hello everyone, um, this is Katz, and I will be talking about Fungal Growth, uh, my favorite spell coming out of uh, my favorite unit, the Infester. So we will talk about the uses of Fungal Growth, primarily against Theron, because against Theron it's the most effective. Zerg can spook creep all around as we know with the Overlords, so as soon as my Lair Tech is done, I, um, you know, crap some creep here to avoid scans and stuff like that. Either way, it gets scouted this one time, but usually with a scan they will miss some of your techs, so you want to place your, your buildings in areas of the map where if they scan they may, they may get one or two, but they won't have a clear idea of everything you're doing. When my infestation pit is done, I start research researching the infester energy. When it's about 35%, which is right about here, or a, well, to be safe, you could put it here, or a little bit earlier, you can start making infestors, and they will pop out with the extra 25 energy. It may not seem like a lot, but if you're planning to make over three infestors, it will definitely pay off. Um, the 25 extra energy will allow your infestors to pop out with enough energy to fungal growth and, of course, anything else that you might be um, going for, such as neuroparasite or infested terrans. So always research your energy and start making infestors when it's a little bit behind, uh, behind the, the middle of the research. It's a pretty fast research. So it's always worth it. It's 150 gas and 150 minerals to get it. Okay, so right about uh, when my energy is is at the point that I mentioned before, 35%, maybe half to be safe, I will start making investors, and they will pop out with the extra energy as we're about to see. As you can see, the fungal growth is no longer grayed out, as I have enough energy for it and it starts accumulating from the time it spawns so now it has instead of 75, 78 energy I will proceed to uh, place my infestors at a watchtower in this particular game there was an SCV there so I used my circlings to clear it out the reason I want watchtowers on maps like Lost Temple is to spot units before they hit me and try and uh, harass them or even kill them sometimes with the fungal growth so fungal growth is really good for delaying units as well as killing them in many cases. As my infestors were, bu were building, I also re researched the burrow. The burrow will allow me to move around the map with my infestor. I will also place my one of my infestors at the watchtower, but it's going to be ineffective in this game because he placed an SCV there. So I'll clear that with my with my circlings and run my burrowed infestors into his main. Usually, they have a wall, but many times they will have uh, the supply depot down. If they don't have the supply depot down, just wait until they do, because it's very lo uh, likely that they will have to, uh, you know, put it down so that they can move the units around. So I'll place my infestors here at the mineral line and wait until they have enough energy for two fungal growths each while this other infester here will be spotting any upcoming attacks such as this hellions this hellions are gonna try and kill my infester so I'll just fungal growth to weaken them and burrow it to save it this will delay his attack and hopefully later on it will help kill them it takes three fungal growths to kill uh, hellions and since they are not a huge unit, they can really be uh, very effective against them. So let's see how my infestors here at this main are doing. Okay, so my infestors at this main have definitely got enough energy for two fungal growths now. In the midst of doing something else, I may not have noticed yet, but that's okay. Um, you know, the more SCVs he makes, the better for my infestors. Once they pop out, they will be able to clear all of these SCVs with fungal growths. There they go. So two perfectly spaced fungal growths will kill all the SCVs as well as the mules. Well, there's one left, proving me right, wrong. Um, 
usually though it's very hard to to get the fungal growths at perfect timing so sometimes the mules will remain with like 5 HP left for that and to clear the remaining SCVs if any I drop a couple of infested turns just to finish the job so this guy will have an extra kill on him which will go to my infestors which together sum up 25 kills quite a little bit and very cost effective the infestors were an investment of 150 and 100 and 100 minerals 150 gas and 100 minerals so that was really cost effective since he's not scanning or planning to clear them out anytime soon I'll just keep him in his base sometimes run them around and when I get a second chance I'll use them again to fund the growth more SCVs at his natural or at his mains once he replenishes. Earlier in the match I left these two guys in his base. Now they almost have enough energy so I'll move them over to his uh, little ledge here and fungal growth is SCVs. As we can see I invested 300 bucks and 200 gas on these infestors and they each have 21 and 13 kills respectively so 34 SCVs time that times 50 and that's how much minerals they've spent I'm not gonna do it because I'm bad at math 